Hello world, hello friends. Today we're gonna to be discussing a controversial age old question. What is the difference between a software engineer and a software developer or more generally a developer or an engineer in the tech space? And there is a one simple answer that I haven't seen anybody give to this question of why these two different titles exist. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys because I was mind blown when I found this out. Uh, along with some other reasons why we have these two different titles. Real quick, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Delia and I'm a developer making tech content. So if you're interested in tech content, make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and it'd be nice if you like the video for the algorithm. Also, if you have any questions, wanna share your experiences or wanna even disagree with me, leave that in the comments below. So let's start with everyone's current mental mapping of these terms. From the general research I've done and people I've asked, it looks like this is what the mental mapping is. We mentally map a software developer as being something lesser than a software engineer. And that is totally not true. And I'm going to give you the reasons why, because they're basically the same role. I've been both of these roles before, a software engineer and a software developer, and they're basically used interchangeably nowadays, okay? So they're always the same role. Whether you are developing applications or engineering them, we're typically just interchangeably using these terms. Software engineers are coders, programmers, Software developers are coders, programmers. They're both developing applications, whether that's web apps, mobile apps, games, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They are the same thing, okay? But there are reasons why companies have given these different titles to people that do the same thing. And that's more so what this video about is about. Why do these two different titles exist? So I'm gonna give you three reasons. First reason and most mind blowing reason because I haven't ever seen anybody talking about this is actually, you know what? Let's play a game. I'm gonna make you guess the reason, okay? So let's just Google software engineer, New York. These are some positions in New York, software engineer, software engineer, software engineer. Okay, now let's Google software engineer, Toronto or software engineer, Waterloo. Huh, software developer, software developer, software developer. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Why are Google software engineers called software engineers in the US, but we are calling them software developers in Canada? And you can look at the requirements for the job, the roles, responsibilities, everything is exactly the same. This is the exact same position, but one is called software engineer, one is called software developer. So can you guess the reason? Okay, so maybe you guessed it. It is a legal reason. So in some countries, you can only legally call yourself an engineer if you are accredited by an engineering body or organization in that country. So even if you graduate from an engineering degree, it does not matter. You need to be licensed as an engineer in some countries, Canada being one of them. As well as France, you need to be licensed by, what's it called, let me check. The Commission des Titres d'Ingénieur which is the commission of engineering titles. So you can only have the title of an engineer if you are licensed and you have to renew that license. You know, you have to pay to renew that license every two years or every X years. Otherwise, it's not legal for you to call yourself an engineer. Mind blowing, right? I don't know, I was mind blown. So I found this out in my most recent position because I was recruited to be a technical solutions engineer and throughout the almost one year, actually over one year process, the entire time I was told, oh, this role is for technical solutions engineer. They just kept you know, telling me I'm going to be a technical solutions engineer. And then when I went to go sign my contract, it said technical solutions developer. And I was like, hold on, wait a minute. What is this? I'm not signing this, this is sketchy. 
And the recruiter explained to me that legally in Canada, you can't call yourself an engineer without being licensed by Canada Engineers, the engineering body of Canada, which gives out the licenses. So I thought that was crazy, but it's funny because everyone I work with that has my role, we still call ourselves technical solutions engineers. We're all TSEs, but on paper, legally, we are technical solutions developers. So anyway, that was really interesting to me and nobody talks about this difference because that also made me realize why some people are called software engineers and some are called software developers even though it's exactly the same role. So hopefully that clears that up, but there's also two other reasons which explain the two differences. Because even in Canada, we call some people software engineers. And actually I was reached out to by a recruiter the other day for a software development engineer position at AWS. And I asked the recruiter why Amazon can legally call their employees engineers in Canada. And she never replied, but you know, those recruiters reach out to you every single week. So eventually I'll get to the bottom of that. Someone will reply and I will let you know why some companies are able to legally call their employees engineers, even when they are not. Uh, maybe I'll make another video about this, but for the most part, it's, there's an actual law that states you can only be an engineer if you are licensed. Okay. So that's the number one reason and i only stated that as the number one reason because it's the most mind-blowing to me but it's not the majority of the reason reason number two is you know title inflation or just arbitrary choosing of different titles okay so title inflation is when companies give you fancy titles to lure you into their jobs and sometimes it's to make up for you know lack of pay or benefits or whatnot and sometimes it's just to get better talent because people want to be called fancy titles and be all, you know, they want to tell their friends they're overlord master of code or whatever fancy title. I am 100% sure that part of the reason why we have these two distinctions between software engineer and software developer is because some companies in different cultures value the word engineer more than the word developer or the other way around. So I went on Google trends and looked at the trends for different countries. And you'll notice that different countries search up the term engineer or developer, software engineer or software developer more than other countries. So culturally, we have this idea of what a software engineer or a software developer is, and companies will take advantage of the titles to gain more employees, right? It just makes sense. And sometimes this is totally arbitrary as well. So this is included in this reason. Companies will just want to call their programmers software developers, or they'll want to call them software engineers for no particular reason, just because they think it sounds better or because, you know, that's what their policy is. So that's the second reason. It's just arbitrary or, you know, title inflation is involved in some kind of way. And then there is a third reason why these two different titles exist. And it's the only one which is legitimately a reason or legitimately a difference between these two roles. And that is the 0.00001% of companies where a software engineer actually performs a different role than a software developer. So some companies do title these jobs differently because software engineers might be higher level and architect more than software developers, which are just coding and programming most of the time. So one might do less architecting or bigger picture things. So that is the one real reason why there might be a difference between the two, but that is so rare. And in the context of what we're talking about, most companies arbitrarily choose these titles or it's for legal reasons. You know, humans like to use words to describe things. And sometimes we don't do the best jobs at it. We just throw words there. So to wrap things up, there is absolutely no difference between a software engineer and a software developer. So do not be confused by that. Do not lose sleep or stress yourself out over if this bootcamp trains me to become a software developer or this one trains me to become a software engineer. You know, they're basically the same role. So don't worry, it's just words. That's basically the point of this video, I guess. I, I just wanted to share that fun fact about the legal system because I never knew that was a thing. 
I'm always confused on whether I should call myself an engineer because technically my role is TSE or if I should call myself a developer. But at the end of the day, it does not really matter. They are all roles and what you do in your day to day is what defines your role rather than what fancy title you have. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful and maybe you learned something new. And if you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe for more, and turn on the bell notifications because I'll be making more videos. So I will see you in the next one and thank you for watching. Bye.